Carolina, better known as Hudson, North Carolina. So we're gonna do a little bugging. Hopefully everything goes smooth today. Grab us a gear and get gone. Y'all move over on this Memorial Day weekend. Do a little bit of that 85 on 85. All right, just met up with Tyler over here in uh, Powdersville. Put a little push water in being white. We ain't blowing a hot, oh! The door shut by itself like a Lamborghini. We'll get it filled up. Gas three on 13 cent over here in the upstate South Carolina, the Palmetto State. Get us some push water and then we get back to boogie. All right, we got topped off in Big White. Make it the rest of the way to the racetrack, or at least to the Ingles, if you've been watching our video. No, we got to stop at Ingles right there in Hudson, North Carolina, and get us some of them cold blue mountains. Maybe get us some cord banquet today. We'll hang the long right-hand turn here at Sears Point. Seems like it takes forever, and we'll be back 85 on 85. We have finally made it to the part where we two-lane rode it all the way to the racetrack now. So we'll roll through these little back towns of Chesney and all these other little cool towns and then we'll be to the racetrack in no time. We left a little early this morning so we can get lined up, get trailer parking. Jack said we could pull in once the Pro Lake models got pulled in. So uh, I'm just trying to get there early, make sure everything goes smooth. Got my fingers crossed. Everybody be on the lake this weekend, Memorial Day. Shoot, we headed to the racetrack. Not too much further away. We'll pull in Ingles and get us a little bit of cold beer to celebrate later tonight. There it is. We made it to the Ingles. We done made friends with the manager, Fred. I wonder if he put Ingles on the race car. In one way, find out. Stretch your back, Fred, on this. Fred, have you ever felt it be 63 degrees on Memorial Day weekend? No, not in a while. A little change, ain't it? Yep. Hey, what happened to you at that red light back there? You look like a bat out of hell rolling up through there catching us. Because I wanted to catch y'all. I can drive. Maybe you need to drive a race car then. No, I don't think so. Big race today, all of you get me all my cars tore, friends. What are you going to feed us today, Mama? I'm hoping barbecue today. BBQ, me and you. Hogwads barbecue. Oh, wow. Is that catering, but there's no catering on the website. Well, damn, won't that just contradict each other? Uh, Got you handy dandy. Fred, run over there and get his loaf of bread. See if he'll notice. What'd you bring a book bag for? You going to school? Well, some people carry purses. You carry a book bag. I carry a book bag. You going to school? And you got deodorant in there in case you go to stinking. Uh oh, somebody trying to steal something. Go in here and said they want some milk ultra today, so we'll get us a case of it. Got the cord banker ready for us, wait. I think it's colder in outside than it is in here. Had to fit the cord light in there and get the banker in. Oh. Have you one, Brian? <laughs> all right, we got all the essentials. We'll worry about Mama Judy catering here in a little bit. She ain't cooking today. Take this little narrow road right down through here and we'll come to the end at Tri-County Motor Speedway. Fast four tenths mile for 75 laps and not $2,000 to win. And there it is, Tri-County Motor Speedway. That's the Cars Tour Pro Late Models and I seen some street stocks in there. It's a good sight to see. So let the Pro Late Models pull in first and then Jack said we could pull in. So let's just go ahead and get in line. Here, get in where we fit in. Yep. Pay at the Cars Tour booth this week, $45 pit pass, $100 entry fee for our first GXS street stock race. Like I said, get the pros in, then we'll roll in with the street stocks. Get you a quick look if you haven't watched the previous videos, the four tenths mile Tri-County Motor Speedway, plenty of room to race here, so. Multi grooves, sometimes three grooves. So uh, hopefully the top groove will come in tonight. Put on a good show. All right, it was our turn to come in now, so we're gonna roll in. They got us parking on the back stretch. Pro late models on the front stretch and the streeters on the back stretch. So looks like there's already five of us here. Come over here to the tire guys, see what kind of stacks of tires we got. MTP took care of us on the scuffs. Go ahead and get this thing unloaded. 
Wait, well, we got them on loaded. Now we'll head to get us some tires. Mama Judy done took care of us today. What we got, Mama? You said you're gonna get some barbecue. We got barbecue. Thank you to Jessica. Six pounds of barbecue, me and you. Get over here and draw for tires. Like I said, that 34 set, people starting to draw now. I'm gonna go up here and take my turn. Mama Judy doing a good job. Drew a number, 31. 31, your baby boy drew a 31. All right, see what Tyler gets. Get a good one. Well, 28. Fred and Stephen doing the contingency decals over here, getting everything laid out. So we can start passing them out. Got Brandon Brown with the cars tour going around, making everybody look like heroes. We gotta let the Pro Late models finish up with their tire mount first before we get over there. Get you a look at the track. They is a distinct three lines. Well, two lines, but you can go three wide in here, no problem all day. Looking real forward to it. Already got almost, I think it was 20 cars I counted. Getting over here getting her tires done. Good guys from Hickory's over here and Hoosier today knocking it out. pre-qualifying tech and we'll be ready to qualify. How it is and you know I know what level you're at but I respect you just as much as I respect these cars tour guys it's gonna go out. I am the race director for the cars tour but you're gonna get the same respect from me as they do. And I'm gonna call the race the same way. <laughs> We're seventh out of 23, so now we're getting ready to go qualify. Steven and Peyton's coming down through here, right numbers on the windshield. We'll get lined up, so after Pro Lake model qualifying gets done, we'll go out, get two laps. Everybody getting lined up. We'll go and roll out night. Fred, we'll take the grill up. Where we, where we can make the best of our lap. Our qualifying's over with, we're gonna roll off eight. 
the fourth row outside, 75 laps. So uh, feel real good about that, uh, about that run. It's a good spot to be on the outside. We shouldn't get trapped on the bottom. So uh, you know they're gonna run the pro late model race now and uh, give us time to make some adjustments and uh, be time to go street stock racing in the GXS street stock series inaugural race. So uh, hopefully we can stay out of trouble. You know, ain't good if a motor got into a wreck. So. Uh, you know, pretty sure this will be the only GXS Street Stock race I've run this year. So uh, try to make the best of it and have fun at my favorite track. So uh, got Taylor Satterfield, old Jefferson native, uh, right up the street from me. He uh, he gets around here pretty good and like my stock. So uh, hopefully he can guide me to the front. You know, talk me uh, talk me off the cliff when I lose my mind. So uh, like I said, about to run a hundred lap pro late model race. When we come back to you, it'll be dark and time to go seventy five lap Street Stock race. Mama Judy gonna top us off before we go. Shouldn't take too much. We need every little bit for seventy five laps. All right, that should be good right there. Let that roll. Go ahead and go on and get in line. Tyler qualified seventh. I qualified eighth. So we'll be starting right beside each other. I'm on the outside, which is the preferred line here. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and get in our spots. Tri-County's got some good staging area because we, you know, pushed against time. They got 11 o'clock curfew tonight. So we, just in case it gets a little out of hand or crazy. So Tyler, go ahead and get rolled into the seventh spot. He out-qualified me, so... He gets them. I'd rather be on the outside anyway. What do you think, Fred? Both cars you work on, starting side by side? Yeah. But not hit each other? Better not. What are you going to do if we do? Hit y'all. <laughs> Look, clean it. Lamar, do your cars? Yes, he does. <laughs> this series. This is the first race for the GXS Rap Street Stock Series, spearheaded by someone who is very well known in the Cars Tour pit area, Boo Carlisle, who you see there in the fluorescent orange and black double zero, starting in eighth. Boo has been very passionate about this series, standing it up the right way. So much so, he's enlisted help of several members of the Cars Tour, and I don't think there's anyone more excited to see how this night unfolds than that driver right there. I think you're 100% right about that. Boo Carlisle's influence in this series has grown. It started with the Kickin' Asphalt vlog that he does on YouTube. He's now doing vlogs with the Touring 12 of the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour this year. He was instrumental in bringing the Volt Battery Caution partnership in 2023 to the series, and now uh, with Stephen Dunn, really uh, two of the main figures behind the creation of this GXS Rap Street Stock Series racing its inaugural race tonight. It's really, really special. And, and you know Boone wants to win this, but I think regardless of how he finishes, I think you'd be hard-pressed not to be in his shoes or anybody else's shoes with the series that cannot take pride in the fact that you've got a tremendous field of street stocks ready to go in a series that traditionally has a lot of support uh, in local programs, but you don't necessarily see a touring series all that much with the street stocks. So uh, this is a big opportunity for a lot of the drivers in this field to be on a race broadcasted on Flow Racing in front of an audience that's paying attention to some of the best short track racing in the country. Uh, I'd be hard-pressed to find any driver in this field that's not maybe a little bit more motivated than normal to try and get the checkered flag at the end of the night. There has been a direct collaboration between the Cars Tour and the inception of this series. There's also a lot of money on the line. $2,000 to win tonight's 75 lapper. Boo was telling me that traditionally most of the local races you would see of these type of cars maybe top out at $300 in most cases. So this is a huge pay increase for some of these drivers and teams. And there's also some contingency awards that are out there. Marlon Yoder already picked up the $200 Volt Battery Poll Award. And Dee's Lug Nuts Podcast, who is a fixture in the pit area. Very entertaining. Listen when you get to check that out. $150 hard charge reward for tonight's race. $1,000 to 
thousandths of a second over the 14 of Davey Smart, who will start on the outside of row number one. Cody DeMarmels and Ricky Locklear Jr. in a substitution ride in that seven car take you through row two while Austin Samaro and Gary Ledbetter to row three. Tyler Woodring and Boo Carlisle, row four. Jeff Melton and Kyle Lynch, your top 10, 19 cars slated to come down for the first ever GXS Wrap Street Stock Series green flag here at Tri-County. Marlon Yoder ready to lead the field to the green flag, waiting in. The Garrison Power Series resorts of Brandon Willard unfurls the green flag, and the first ever race for the GXS Wrap Street Stock Series is underway. Talked about people who competed at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Boo Carlisle was one of those drivers in his Chevy Camaro. Picked up a top 10 in both nights of street stock competition as part of the racetrack revival last August. And we mentioned the passion that is deeply buried in his heart for not just this style of racing, but all of motorsports. Does a tremendous job in terms of capturing some of the action on the Cars Tour side with some of the vlogs that he puts out, especially when he's able to follow along with some of the Touring 12 drivers. But he's in his happy place right now, the cockpit of his race car, and running seventh with still a long way to go. This is his bread and butter. He is a street stock driver at the end of the day and loves street stock racing. It's where he made his name. It's where... The Kickin' Asphalt vlog started. This is his home base so far as type of car goes. As you get a good look at the battle just ahead of him. Locklear and Samero fighting for the last spot in the top five. And as they come back to the strike, we'll keep an eye on lap times. <laughs> racing is we'll get another look at the incident that brings out our first yellow. This all starts with a hard battling between Ledbetter and Davey Smart, who uh, I, I don't know if he recognized that Ledbetter was going to send it in that deep, but they make contact. Smart goes around and then he makes contact with the right rear, and eventually you'll see that car come sliding down and do a call that a 270? About <laughs> not, not, not quite a full 360, but pretty close.
Tai Tu and finished up in the top five. Some of the familiar names are door to door here. That's Ryan Flores sliding his way down on the bottom of the 15. Boo Carlisle in the double zero up top, and there's contact. Big contact there between Flores and Carlisle. A little bit of the rear bumper on Carlisle's machine already loose and free. 20 laps down in this race, and then you've got Jeff Melton to the inside of Flores. This is all right around the 10th position on the racetrack. racing replay and see what brought out this yellow flag to begin with. So this was the battle that we were keeping tabs on with Boo Carlisle up ahead. And you could see right away there is fluid clear on the racetrack right in the racing groove. And as they start to spin, fortunately, I believe they were able to get it stopped. However, that was not the case for the Black 82, who has been involved in a couple of cautions tonight. Gene Griffey, who has hit the wall hard with the front end, and you see he has gotten the radiator on his car, and the fire crew had to actually chase Samaro back to his trailer because of the bit of the open flame that developed behind the left front tire. Lots of activity here. So you've got the fire extinguishers over by Samaro's car. You've got uh, tons of fluid coming down the race track. Carlisle just needed a little bit of an assistance push in order to get his car free from the scene, while the crew will now work to clean up the situation that has unfolded in turns three and four with 29 laps to go in this race. While being that, the cleanup is going to commence over there. We'll take an opportunity to catch our breath. It's been an exciting one to start. Still 29 to go for the first ever GXS Rap Street Sox. Nine laps to go on the night as part of the Leapfrog Landscaping 75. This, the inaugural GXS Rap Street Stock Series with $2,000 going home to the winner. 
Once again, I'm Eric Brennan, alongside James Pike, Blake McCandless, handling some duties at the Ace Speedway tonight. He will be back with us next Saturday, and we want to wish the best of luck to Jacqueline Drake, who's up at Lee for the NASCAR Wheel of Modified Tour, which you could also catch on Flow Racing here this weekend. Nine lap conclusion to this street stock event. The Marmals, Ledbetter, your front two, then Lynch is in the mix, as is Davey Smart in the 14. You've got Lutlayer there on the outside trying to make things happen as we go back. Now racing through the KRC Power Steering Restart Zone as they continue to battle here up at the front. Ledbetter on the inside trying to clear Cody to Marmals and take over the race lead for the first time tonight. Not quite there. He tries to slide up the racetrack in front of De Marmals, but De Marmals will get the good run on the outside and keep this battle going down the front stretch. That top line appears to be pretty powerful at this point in the race. De Marmals able to hold about a half a car lane still up top there in the white 12 car while Smart has solidified himself in third. Ledbetter washes up the racetrack. That gets the marbles up into the dirty stuff, and here comes Ledbetter to the lead. How about Davey Smart, who took full advantage of the contact between DeMarmals and Ledbetter and drove right to the inside of DeMarmals' machine, but he can't maintain the momentum on the inside, so DeMarmals will go back to second, Smart to third. It's then Kyle Lynch in fourth, and Ricky Lockler Jr. in fifth as there's trouble a little bit further back on the racetrack and contact there. One car goes way, way, way. <laughs> As the laps continue to click off, 25 to go. We're in the final third distance of this race. A little bit further back, we've got Jeff Milton, Boo Carlisle, and John Gooker in the mix, and Dylan Crouch. We haven't called Crouch's name all that much, but he's here just on the fringes of this battle as well. But all eyes on Milton and Carlisle. That's for the sixth position. Carlisle to the inside has the nose ahead down the back stretch. Milton will pull back ahead on entry to turn three, and they'll be door to door again through the middle of three and four, working our way towards 23 laps to go. Two beautiful looking race cars in a side by side battle down the home stretch. You see some of the body work patched up there on the left rear of Carlisle's car after he had contact a couple of times throughout tonight's contest as Melton forges ahead on the top side. Carlisle starting to slide up. I think, Pike, we're getting to that point in this. Race. to go now and here's the battle again maybe a little bit of a smoke coming out of the rear of Jeff Melton's machine as he slows up and now goes down to the inside <laughs> For Jeff Melton late in this leapfrog landscaping 75. That car got way, way high off a of turn number two and might have caught the wall while battling with Bruce Carlisle. He appears to be out of harm's way. This race will have the chance to stay green as Ledbetter will be coming to the line with two laps to go this time. Gary Ledbetter clear. Not much traffic in front of him. Melton will come down pit road, so no yellow flag for him. This is all the Gary Ledbetter show here. He drove up to the front early, took advantage of some track position, and has just stayed up here in this final 25-lap run to control this as he'll come to the white flag here at Tri-County. One lap to go for Gary Ledbetter. This driver is a five-time winner of the New Year's Bash, one of the biggest street stock races in the region at Dillon Motor Speedway year after year. He picked up a win at North Wilkesboro last August, and his name will now be etched as the first ever winner of the GXS Rap Street Stock Series. Gary Ledbetter gets the win at Tri-County. $2,000 to Gary Ledbetter and team.
Kyle Lynch, a hard point. I had a uh, hell of a race with Jeff Melton, but I forgot to turn the stupid GoPros on. Big thank you to Ashton Higgins, Rock Harris. His my grandma makes phenomenal fried pies. I've been trying to get some. Um, <clears throat> let y'all see, but man, we didn't give up. 75 laps. I, hey, look what I beat. I feel like hell. I, I only ain't felt this good in a long time. You know, 75 laps. Look what I beat. They'd be a sponsor. You who won't give us one, but. Man, I wish y'all could have seen that battle. I hope Flo got some of the battle from uh, from me and Jeff Melt because I worked that I worked that man over 15 laps, and uh, hope y'all get to see it. So let's go back here. Tyler got tore up. I can talk, look at you, and tell you that uh, man blow the motor. I got in his oil. Tyler got in his oil. Somebody else got in his oil. So um, Tyler's gonna need a rear clip on it. Uh, I hope mine's just mostly cosmetic. So uh, we'll we'll go see uh, see what happens. But I think it was a. A great night for the first GXS Street Stock race. We got some damage hey, yeah. on I mean, the right rear. Yeah. Oh, you're talking to the damn yeah. camera. Not <laughs> me. I thought you were talking to me. I was like, I saw it, boo. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> boys done good. Rock Harris, Ashton Higgins, all them boys did a good job. I left it in the car. You did? Boo don't need you to fix his car, but you need to she was running at the end. Maybe that's what we needed to do was cave her rear end in. Or cave, you know, quarter panels in. That's all right. Jimmy Gorman put us some new ones on there. Tyler's car is going to need a clip. Over here and look at it. Man, blow the motor. Me and Tyler and somebody else didn't have nowhere to go. Two spotters talking. Taylor did a phenomenal job tonight. Get you a better look at the damage we had. It's mostly cosmetic. Somebody done got stuck over there. But uh, put some new quarters on it. Jimmy Garman to take care of it for us. Maverick, look, I crashed too, just like your daddy. See back here? Can Look. you fix it for me? Uh, yeah. How long will it take? What? How long will it take? I get that tape off. Just get the tape off and it'll be fixed. All right, man. All right, the person to thank for all of this, Keely Dominski with the Cars Tour, Director of Operations. Keely, what do you think about the first GXS Street Stocks race? First of all, I'm not the one to thank. That is you and Stephen Dunn. Listen, y'all, when I tell you that they worked so hard to pull this off, like this, y'all made it a breeze for me. I mean, we had so much fun. Um, the Street Stocks put on a hell heck, heck, heck of a show. Hey, yeah, hell of a show. <laughs> hell of a show, honestly. Um, it was just really enjoyable to even watch and to be a part of. Um, seeing all, the amount of work that uh, Boo and Steven have put into this and, you know, giving these guys an opportunity to, to go on to this. What about the winner? Oh my God, that was so fun too. Gary like, Ledbetter was just a yeah, kid in candy store. He was because I don't. He was like happy at first, and then I, uh, what's that called? The confetti. The sh yeah, Sorry. the confetti, I'm, the sh I'm champagne. Not from Wilkesboro. <laughs> um, but yeah, like the champagne, the confetti, and his face was like, like just excited. So like for us, for them to be on flow with us. I mean, here's the thing. We have been blessed with so many more eyeballs on us, uh, resources and stuff. And I feel like I remember a time when we needed that really bad. Um, and so for us to be able to give it back to the street stocks is just really, really important for us. So um, I feel really good in my heart. Um, I really hope that we can do it again soon. What about, uh, you know, we got to talk to Jack, maybe a throwback date? 
Now listen, it <laughs> almost fits too perfectly. I know, I know. Um, we'll work through some stuff, you know, can't, can't leak anything quite yet. All right, Steven, man, that was our first GXS race. What, what'd you think? It was cool, man. Um, it was, I think it was better than we anticipated, to be honest with you. I know we had 32 cars that pre-registered and you and I both knew that everybody was gonna come, but we had 22 race cars. We had a hell of a race. Um, Great race. And can't thank Jack and Keeley and the new ownership group at the Cars Tour for giving us the opportunity to kick off our uh, first ever race uh, with them in conjunction with uh, the old North State Nationals, which will not be rescheduled. But anyway, I think that the fans at Tri-County got a great show on the pro race and, and with our race and um, really cool to have, um, you know, Marlon Yonder or him sit on the pole for the first GSX race and uh, Gary Ledbetter, who you call the Josh Berry mm -hmm. of Street Stock, uh, win our first race and it was good, man. Um, it was, it, it gives you an appreciation for what, you know, Jack McNelly and Keely Dubinsky do for the Cars Tour to put together a series that travels and does different things. And I think that you and I really implemented a lot of the things that we've seen the Cars oh, absolutely. Tour do um, over the years. Even and qualifying order. Even qualifying you order. Even Peyton Ward. Yeah, and I think, too, I think that these guys really kind of appreciated what we did and i think that was the most gratifying the most exciting thing is just the number of guys that came up and thank me thank you for putting this on and putting it together and man i think uh i think we got a a pretty good following of folks that there comes come my spotter there Anderson. goes my there goes my spotter um, for tonight yeah he's trying to get you to see the highlight yeah he was telling me about it No, my mom's standing right over there. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, it was it was awesome. Uh, this is a great racetrack for for racing in general, but street stocks in particular. And, um, and I can't compete with that. I bet it is fun, though. Um, but man, it was great. Um, thank you. Uh, excited about the next month and going to Orange County for two races. And who knows, man, we might have uh, some exciting news to share here in the coming weeks about a couple of other dates. We've I've had a lot of people reach out in the last couple of days that are extremely interested. Um, Got to thank uh, Eric Brennan and, and James Pike at, for Flow. Um, I was listening to them when they called the race and uh, a lot of kind words and they, they saw a good race and hopefully those folks that watched on Flow like what they saw and um, you know, it was a good night, man. I'm excited about tonight. I'm excited about moving forward. Well, we got away from the racetrack in the great night. Fred, you got enough food there to feed? You gonna have Thanksgiving? Come on down. Come on down to the Hampton Inn. Macaroni, no. Oh, I'm a Judy got it. Let's go. Oh, it's fancy now. Well, we made it home safe, as you can see. Bittersweet is quite beat up, so uh, Tyler uh, got his clip on his car. So uh, they've already got it cut off this morning, ready to, to put another rear clip on it. So he still got his personal car, as y'all all know, we refer to that one as the rental car. But he still got his personal car, and I think that's what we're gonna take to the next GS, GXS Street Stock Race, easy for me to say, on Friday night, June 30th at Anderson Motor Speedway. That'll be round two. So. Uh, Big thank you to everybody that came out and supported it. Uh, we got a little bit of work to do. I think that'll be the only uh, GXS street stock race that, that I personally race. I feel like I need to be on the promoter side, the administrative side, you know, chasing around, getting everybody lined up more so than worried about driving a race car. But it was fun, man. It was a, it was a great, great time. So with that said, moving forward, uh, like I said, Anderson's the next race. Already got a, uh, a bunch of uh, good stuff. Uh, leading into that race, got a lot new, com more new competitors that was not with us at Tri-County that say they're coming to us. A big thank you again to Keely Dubinsky, Jack McNally, everybody at Flow for really helping me and Steven kick this thing off right. So uh, other than that, thank y'all very much for the support as always. We got a lot of work to uh, to do to bittersweet before, uh, before we announce our star driver for the Anderson Motor Speedway race. So uh, that's right, I ain't gonna be racing, but bittersweet to be there. So. Uh, just keep watching the videos, and um, we'll tell you who's driving it. So uh, other than that, thank you very much. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.